What's up, everybody? Welcome to Tech 5. It's your boy, James Green. And today, we're going to be talking about a gov the government trying to get some certain websites to have age verification installed. So the government has revealed plans for age verification on porn websites in its new digital economy bill set to come into force in 2017. Now, for those of you who, have, who visit porn sites on a regular basis, back in the day, they used to have it where they would say, are you 18 or are you this age? I'm guessing 18, you, you would click yes or no. I bet you a lot of people click yes. Even those who weren't 18, I bet you clicked yes. But, but just how these sites are gonna monitor if these ages are, if these people are the real ages is unclear at this moment. But the issue has been raised by privacy campaigners since it could mean you would have to register a credit card with that website. So there's a problem right there. That's just giving out way too much information. Like in case like the website that you're looking on got hacked and when your information was stolen from these guys, that's a problem. So owners of the adult sites could be fined up to 250 pounds if they don't check people's ages. So now these companies are being forced to check to make sure, hey, are you 18? If you are, yes, so then you had to, you might have to uh, register your credit card so we can verify to make sure that you are the age you say you are. So the Open Rights Group, which com campaigns for privacy and free speech online, has said, quote, while preventing children from seeing pornography is a worthy aim, age verification is fraught with difficulties if infringements of privacy and free expression are to be avoided. So that is the issue with this, with this new bill coming up, making porn sites have to verify that you are of age to watch their content. To enforce the measures, the government suggested a new separate watchdog be created. The body would be able to alert credit card companies even if the websites themselves didn't cooperate. So this is pretty an interesting move for the government to get involved in making sure kids don't have access to porn sites. I don't know why they wait till now to actually do something about it, but whatever. I mean, these kids, kids are smart nowadays. I'm pretty sure they'll find, they'll find some BS way to go through all of that. But we have to wait till 2017 to see how the government is going to play this out. So the government introduced a raft of restrictions on porn in recent years, which has been seen by many as cracking down on personal freedoms. So that kind of makes sense. Like, hey, I want to watch porn when I want to watch it. The government needs to mind their own fucking business and let me watch what I want to watch. I get that. But stricter controls on adult content online have been supported by the children's charity, the NSPCC. Of course they have. So the charity has found that half of school children admit to seeing sexual or violent material on the internet and that children wanted to copy the behavior they had seen on porn sites despite the majority of respondents saying porn didn't help them understand consent. What? So there, I'm not saying kids don't try to mimic what they see on the internet, but I'm pretty sure that's not every single child on the planet trying to copy everything they see on the internet. You Tone it down, people, tone it down. So in this bill, there's also has harsher copyright laws. Those that are found guilty of copyright infringement could be in prison for up to 10 years. God damn it. 10 years for copyright infringement. They're going serious on this one. 10 years for copyright infringement. I think it was, I think it used to be five years for copyright infringement plus a $250,000 fine. And now they're putting up 10, jeez. So, this is really insane. The The government's going super strict on this. They really want to make sure these kids don't get, have access to sexual sites. I mean, of course I do too, but at the same time, some of these kids might get through the cracks and stumble upon a site that doesn't have that. So, um, uh, we really have to wait and see if this bill even gets passed. 
in 2017 if they implement it we got to wait and see what happens with this but i don't know exactly where i stand on this one i mean this how there's so much you can really do to verify the ages of the people that are going on these websites i just think any more personal uh, information to verify that age might put them more at risk of cyber attacks so they really need to sit down and think this through before implementing such a thing but what are your guys' thoughts on this leave it in the comments right down below check out my blog at tech5.com follow me on social media all the links are be in the description box down below and of course subscribe 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 for some more content to join the tech 5 army and i'll see you guys next time